Brother Asa, let's go. <laughs> hey, just get, give us a timeline real quick. Wait, when, when did you finally show up? I guess you guys come in in June, and, and uh, what has just kind of the indoctrination to college basketball been this, uh, I guess, last month or so? I mean, it's been great. We've been finally able to get into the gym whenever I went to, you know, in uh, Groveland, where I used to live at. I used to have to travel 45 minutes just to get to a workout session in Orlando. So being right down the street, two, three minutes to get to the gym, I can get in here any day I want. So it's just, uh, I've been getting in the gym every day, getting my reps up, so I feel really good and really polished. Jaden talked a little bit about some of his favorite Athens memories. What what come to mind for you as a kid growing up here? Uh, you know, growing up here on campus, um, going to the music school with my, uh, my nana, Jacqueline Mitchell. Um, she always used to take us to uh, piano lessons and whatnot before she passed away. So it's been really good memories to be back here uh, you know, I might be up there and the, uh, get back up there in the piano sessions. You never know. Uh, but, you know, playing soccer at Athens United, playing the rec, you know, it's just been great coming back. Did you ever think when you your family left Athens that one day you'd be back here? Uh, I didn't. Uh, you know, going to Destin, you know, basketball wasn't even my plan. I was a soccer player. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, making the switch to play basketball has been the best decision of my life. When did that switch happen? When you... It was uh, fifth through sixth grade. Um, kind of just realized, you know, maybe soccer wasn't for me. I'm tall, and <laughs> <laughs> let's go play some hoops. <laughs> what position did you play in soccer? I was I was a goalie, striker, and left uh, center. So. What's so, just a, your? Can you give us a little background, if you don't mind, on your family family dynamic? I mean, obviously, both of you guys are tall. I don't know if your parents are tall. Do you have yeah. siblings and that kind of? So thing? my dad, he's six two. My mom, six foot. Um, I have Jaden here. Um, I have a little sister. She's probably like five six. She's only fourteen, but she's really tall. Um, my uh, grandfather, my mom's size tall. Grandfather, my dad's size tall. So we have all got tall genetics. You talk about that move to Florida when Georgia first reaches out, and you've got that you know previous time here. Just what goes through your mind? Can you repeat that? When, like when Georgia first reached out to you, what okay. goes through your mind given the fact that you had spent some time in Athens? Well, you know, my relationship with Mike White has gone to, you know, Florida, so I had a really good uh, rapport with him. And, you know, Eric Pastrana at Oklahoma State going to Florida, then coming here, you know, I already knew there was family um, from the get-go. So, you know, already knowing, I was like, wow, man, I could really go back home and play and play for a really good coach. So that was definitely something that count. What were your conversations like with Jaden, you know, about Georgia and, and when you were considering a chance to come here? You know, my biggest thing was, am I gonna get, am I gonna have all the tools that I need? You know, going to college, uh, you know, different colleges, you know, you might go to a, um, you know, high major college, you know, I just felt like, you know, I can come here, build a legacy, uh, build something up that I, I really wanna build, uh, you know, Georgia basketball up and get it back to where it needs to be. What ages were you when you lived in Athens? Uh, I don't know. I remember moving at 10. Um, I lived, oh, what'd you say, Jay? Like, I lived, we lived here 6 to 12, so 10, 6 years. So, like, 4, four, four, four yeah. yeah. 4 to 10, so. And what, where did you live? Where was your home? Uh, it was in Oak Grove. Oak okay. Grove. All right, so you spent two years with Team USA, was it? Correct. Yep. How much did that experience, how has that helped you over the course of course of your journey so far and what kind of confidence level does it have does it boost that confidence even more coming to a college setting now? well you know before team you'll say you know trying out for a team like grinding for something really grinding for something uh you know really put me in that mentality that I got to go and kill every single uh every single practice every single day so just having that you know playing with the USA across my chest playing for my country mm -hmm. is something I always want to do and it was one of my goals and when I got the um invite I was like, I'm gonna make this team, I'm gonna make this team. So, you know, just having that really benefited me. And, you know, without basketball, I would never uh, have gone into a different country. So it's been taking me places. How are you preparing yourself mentally? Cause you're going to, you're going to games that people know who Ace Newell is. And they, 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 there are certain expectations that come with kind of being kind of who you are. How do you plan mentally on kind of handling that? Mix? Pray every single day, yeah. you know, to my father, Jesus, uh, just, Praying and uh, you know, Montbury has prepared me as well uh, with all the you know ESPN games, so I'm used to it. Uh, so they really, really helped me out. 
good teammate last year. He's been going up against the U.S. Olympic team, uh, I guess, in Vegas. Right? I don't know where they're training, but um, you know, how much do you see like what a guy like him does? You know, that you played with him, you played on a high level. Do you view yourself kind of as as a one and done type guy here? Yes, sir. You do. So, like, if you if you're here next year talking to us, then the season didn't go like you wanted. Well, you know, everyone has their own plan, uh, you know, own goal, and I'm on God's timing, so if it's God's will, it's gonna happen. Gotcha. What, what was it like to watch Jaden get put on scholarship? It was amazing. So I actually knew when he got back home uh, for the longest, and you know, a couple of times I almost slipped up. <laughs> uh, but you know, seeing him, seeing my family, it was just amazing. And you know, I thought he was gonna cry, but I think he shed a little tear now. <laughs> but you know, just seeing him put all his work in, I mean, he. He paved the way for me, and you know I credit him a lot because he took the first punch and made my path easier. So it's been amazing. Did Let's, you guys grow up doing like one on ones in the driveway or anything? Yeah. Or can you can you remember some of those? Uh, recall some of those battles? Yeah, when we got a basketball hoop uh, in my driveway, we always used to go out there and you know battle each other. And sometimes it wouldn't be too pretty at the end of the day because whoever <laughs> would win would you know, talk their trash and the whole day would be ruined if, <laughs> if I didn't win or he didn't win, but, and we kind of had to take um, a little chill pill, uh, you know, <laughs> stop playing for a little bit, but now we can play without, you know, butting heads all day, so. What's been the biggest adjustment you feel like you've had to make since you've gotten here and, and started practicing? I think the, uh, the biggest adjustment is probably gonna be well, I feel like I came right in and I'm doing what I need to do. I think uh, probably, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing my thing right now. Georgia made a real effort to, to add a lot of talented freshmen around you. What have been your early impressions of the other freshmen that you guys have gotten going? Oh yeah, everyone's really polished. Uh, Santo's really physical, uh, you know, big a big body. Uh, you know, he's gonna rebound, he's gonna run the floor, and he's gonna dunk the ball, so I feel like He's been really good, and we got Jordan Key. Um, he's gonna he's gonna do his thing too. Uh, he's real polished as well. Um, and we got Sabo coming in. And I'm ready to see him uh, play. So. What do y'all know about Sabo? I mean, he obviously been playing overseas, you know, all summer for a lot of his uh, career. I mean, you're sitting there watching him on, on film. What do you think he's gonna bring? Oh, he's gonna bring elite passing, and elite passing is what we need. So he's gonna bring that. Is there a part of your game you want to fine tune between now and, and when you guys uh, tip it off in November? I want to get bigger and stronger. I want to jump higher. Um, I feel like my three point shot is real knocked down right now. Um, I want to say, you know, everyone wants handles, so I just want to limit turnovers. You mentioned the elite passing that Sava is going to bring. Just you knowing that you were coming in, how excited were you to learn that Silas was going to come back? Oh, Silas, he's a real big guard. Um, you know, that's my dog. Um, he's real physical. He's a big guard. Um, he's a really good passer. Um, and now we have a lot of pieces, so it's going to come to fruition. Who's a good comp for you on the NBA level? Like, is there a game that... A lot of people tell me I play like Chris Bosh. And, and what, like, what skill set does he have that carries over to you? You know, he's a lefty, uh, long athletic, um, good decision maker. You remind me a little of Nick Claxton. Are you familiar uh, with him or his game? Yeah, he played on uh, Brooklyn, yeah. Yeah, he just signed a $100 million contract. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of M's right there, a lot of zeros. <laughs> I asked Jaden this season, but just how excited are you for the start of this season, not only to start your college career, but to be playing with your brother again? It's amazing, you know, battling each day. You know, every practice is competitive. Um, and, you know, our culture is really well here. And that's something that I wanted to bring from Mount Bird. You know, being the number one team in the whole country, you know, going undefeated. We bring a winning culture every single day, and it's going to stay like that. When you were uh, growing up at Athens, did you ever get over the Stegmundo game? Do you ever remember? Stegman? Yeah, I did. I, I came to one game, and I also did um, the camp here as well. Who would have been the coach back then? Fox. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. And I grew up going to Ramsey, too, on the, uh, the swim dogs, too. So I've been in the Ramsey Center swimming. Swimming in the Ramsey Center. Yep, watching Michael Phelps one time. So I got a little credit here. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a Florida boy, but I got a little bit. Have you ever uh, been hit up by Anthony Edwards yet? Nah, I wish he would, though. I think. <laughs> I'm going to try to get him out to a game. All right, any other questions for Ace? Thank you. Thank you.